What's up everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls where we are continuing along, like what else would we be doing? Last episode we defeated Estrella and I think what I'm gonna do is before we go into 4-2 I'm gonna remove Firestorm. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna rearrange my whole sort of spell setup here. Soul Arrows start, then go with Fire Spray. Then go with where the shit is it? Homing Soul Arrow. Haven't used this in quite a while. Next, we're gonna go with if I can find it, Soul Ray. And then finally, Flame Toss. Something like that. Something like that. That's the idea. Anyways, so 4 2. The reason. Can I get rid of. Yeah, get rid of the Cling Ring. We're gonna need the Thieves. Uh. What was I saying? Oh yeah, 4-2. Needs a different spell setup, I think. This should be the good the good solution here, a good setup. Uh, we have nothing to repair. We are basically all good. I think I deposited all my shit. No, I did not. So let's do that. And we can get going immediately. So as you probably remember, I've briefly uh, tickled the taint of this area. Uh, when I came here. However, we're going in fully this time around. This really can go two ways. I mean, I'm way more powerful than I was before. So I'm a little bit more hopeful because honestly, this place was basically a nightmare a little bit. The issue is these assholes have uh, magical attacks. And as you guys know, we don't do too well with magical attacks. They don't either. Fucking hell. This is gonna be a nightmare. This is gonna be a nightmare. Um, I'll go back into human form, but I'm not gonna mess around with this too much. This shit has to be like nearing black world tendency. Uh, sort of. It's in between. I really don't want to go to black world tendency. You know what happens. It's yeah, a bit of a nightmare. Um, we're gonna need to be tactical here. No, target. Come on, fuck. Yeah, keep missing like that. Cool. So fire is definitely the way to go here. Um, they're way weaker to it than any of the soul spells. The only thing is that we've basically run out of uh, fire spells. Like, this is all you got. I'm trying to see if I can take out the mantis. As in, we have ignite as well, but I can't get ignite. Okay, stop. Thank you. Yeah, definitely fire is the way to go here. Um, fuck. Fuck. Yes. This is gonna be an interesting area. Um, obviously the soul spells are not doing too hot, so... It will be like a good change of pace. Sometimes, no, they do work. Sometimes you just gotta go all out, right? But definitely, in terms of like conserving MP, the thing works. The fire spells work. God, I'm not making any sense today, am I? Anyways, good to be playing Demon Souls again. Um, I've been like more focused on Dark Souls because I'm having a lot of fun with the redux of the Hunter Guide. 
but this game is a lot of fun as well. Again, don't for a second think that these are gonna be like my two playthroughs and that's it. I'm gonna... Shit. I'm gonna do a lot more with this game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we need to we need to avoid these guys. For sure. What the hell? Did he fall off? Is he that stupid? Luckily this laser is way easier to like see. This used to be a nightmare, like the hitbox of it was so vague uh, because of the sort of muddied graphics of uh, the PS... Oh, don't go in there. Of the PS3 version. At least you can tell what he's doing. God, this level is so short. This, this was the level I had by far the most trouble with uh, whenever I played this game. So... Kind of looking back at it now, it's like, fuck. Damn. Still pretty fast, the attack itself. Damn, that's hard to avoid. Maybe it's not because of the graphics. Get fuck off. And we are going to do this. Eat shit, bitch. Luckily, you only need to kill two of these things uh, throughout the entire level, which is very good because these enemies are a bit of a nightmare. And we're already almost at the end. Holy shit. <laughs> And this is a this is a funny level. This this is one of those where it's really the initial shock that makes it difficult. As in, I'd say this area has the hardest standard enemies in the entire game. I didn't even have to cut shit out. Um, this boss will be interesting though, because if I remember correctly, he's pretty resistant to a lot of stuff. But the question is, will he be able to find us? God, this game looks so good. This is definitely one of the best looking games. Although I've been playing a lot of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I played a bit of it when I got the PS5 and then I sort of didn't play it. But it's a really, it's a super good game. I do like me some Ratchet and Clank. That game looks fucking fantastic. It's like a Pixar movie. Of course, graphics aren't everything, as we all know. Listen, I'll happily play StarCraft 1 over anything most of the time. Although even that got a remaster. So this will be really interesting. Did the fucking... Okay, so he can tell. So he can tell where you are shooting spells from. Fucking hell. I'm wasting my MP. What the hell? Is that seriously not reaching him? You have got to be kidding me. Bruh. Come on. W what is going on? with this spell. This thing straight up doesn't work. Okay, so he's like his counterparts very resistant to uh, soul magic. Like you, you see, this is dealing 139 and fucking soul ray is dealing 156. 
I should have bought. I should have brought Firestorm along. I'm stupid. I got arrogant. Man, why are you having such a hard time hitting this guy? This is gonna be spice heavy, to say the least. And we're probably gonna fucking fall asleep here. It's unbelievable. This should be like the easiest enemy to hit. It's a giant dude. What a fascinating boss fight. The concept of this guy is good, but... I think the execution leaves a little bit to be desired. And then he sometimes just like goes fucking Super Saiyan and finds you. I mean, the gimmick of it is interesting, but again, I feel like this is not challenging enough to be an actual boss fight and not um, puzzly enough to be a puzzle boss fight. Although, again, I have no fucking clue why apparently it's so difficult to hit. A couple of more hits should do it. Actually, just two more. <laughs> that death animation though, nice. Quite an interesting little dude. Alright, let's see what we can make from his soul. That was quick as hell. Holy shit, this level is <laughs> so short. Okay, Yuria, what you got? Don't attune, learn. We have jack shit. Cool. Sage Frake, what do you got? Jack shit. Jack shit. Okay, then. Well, that was good to know. So, apparently, maybe it can be made into. Uh, what's his, what's it called? Miracles. But that don't matter. 36k too. So that's gonna, that's gonna give us some, some levels. It's quite a few levels actually. Uh, this, I think. Yeah, this. That's what we're going for. Now we still have quite a lot, uh, let's just spice up. Uh, repair. Spice up. And... Uh, what the hell? Why can't I... Is it because I'm overburdened? Yeah, okay. Hold on. Cool. 52 should be enough, <laughs> to say the least. All right, I think we are done here in the Nexus. Uh, no, we're not, hold on. I still have quite a lot of consumables. Let's pop a few and level up more. 37, magic power, that's pretty good. I'd say 40 would be the goal and I think we'll get to that easily by the end of the game. Okay, guess we're maxed out. Man, this really is turning out to be a piss easy playthrough. Uh, let's go back to the inner path 
And we almost had this whole area clear too, so it's just the boss really. Okay, I think this is the area that I haven't covered yet. Uh, we're just gonna pew pew. Continue pew pewing. And then the knights will be more interesting to get through. But these guys aren't gonna pose much of a challenge. And then Penetrator, like, I have Bjor unlocked. So I don't think that's gonna be like really anything special either. I mean, with Bjor, that boss is piss easy. Um, but like, why wouldn't you go for Bjor? I talked about this before. Bjor is pretty much like the Iron Tarkus of this game. Like, you are going against everything this game stands for if you don't get Bjor with you. He's like the most badass character in the entire game. Okay, ouch. You gotta remember, these guys deal a lot of damage. That was not worth it. Don't soul ray, like, piss easy. I forgot there's one more cutscene. He's hauling ass. Fat rolling, idiot. That dude, 100% fat rolls. Probably plays Havelin. This thing sucks. What the hell? Oh, Soul Ray. Soul Ray is... That's why you get Soul Ray, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, that worked better than I ever could have imagined. I was like, definitely Soul Ray for the piercing, but... Holy shit. This is a pretty good spell. Yeah, um, I'm currently... The recording session is sitting at 19 minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, it's probably going to be shorter on the actual episode because there's some stuff that I need to cut out. And we're here at the Penetrator. Uh, yeah, pretty much as I said at the very start, this is going to be a challenging playthrough early on and then an absolute steamroll towards the end. That's just how magic is in this game especially. It's like that in all the Souls games. Like when you have the Crystal Soul Spear and all that in the other games. God, this, this guy's redesign is badass. He's a little bit, you know, edgy fantasy look-wise, but we'll let him slide. This guy, badass. So, as I've said, Bjork can pretty much take this guy out on his own. Uh, but we're gonna run support. And that was the Penetrator. The recording session is sitting at 21 minutes, uh, and we watched the entire cutscene. Bjor, you are a badass. Your teeth are a bit weird, though. Yeah. <laughs> this game. I love this game. Man. Cool. Uh, and this can be made into Curse Weapon. I do know what, what this can be made. And I think Light Weapon as well. Is it called Light Weapon? I'm not sure. We'll find out in just a second. Um, but definitely she makes Curse Weapon from this. Yeah. Which is a pretty good spell. Um, if you're using actual weapons. For us... Get that shit out of here. And then you... What? He has fire... But wait. No, well... No, I did I did see this. Um, but Firestorm is better. 
there it is light weapon also pretty good wait hold on a second am i getting the spell confused with something no 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 it's a it's a buff never mind it's a buff Uh, for a second, I thought that there is a spell which mm, sort of works like uh, one of those like magic swords in Dark Souls 3, but there isn't. We can pretty much use it then. There it is, 40. Naisu, naisu. and let's just stock up and let's just head back here because the time for revenge has come you guys know that these three little npcs coming up here have gotten the best of me to put it lightly uh no don't soul ray him anyways this one even soul ray almost doesn't cost nothing uh, yeah, you guys know that these enemies, these three red phantom fuckers here, got the best of me during the pre previous playthrough. Well, that's why I'm saying, time for revenge. No, don't... Fucking hell. This thing sucks. Okay, it doesn't suck. Just needs to hit. But when it do hit, it does some damage. It does some damage, to say the least. No oh, fucking hell. It's my dog knocking at the door. He probably wants to... Listen. Probably wants me to play. It'll be a second. It will literally be like a couple of seconds. So, obviously the sort of intelligence of this spell was not as finely tuned in this game. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna spend it. Eat shit. You are the biggest fucker in this entire game. Um, because, like, again, in the other Souls games, homing soul arrow definitely does not trigger on an enemy that's outside of your... outside of the spell's range. Like, obviously. But here it does, and that's a bit of a shame. You get the white bow. What the hell is over here? Probably just nothing. Just stones of the ephemeral eyes. Yeah, um, this, this is 26 minutes in. This is going to be a short as fuck episode. But... Should I wrap it up here? I have a lot of souls. I just noticed. Yeah, we're gonna go and spend these and then I will wrap up. Uh, I want to leave the actual finale for the next episode, which definitely came sooner than I expected. I expected at least two more episodes before the finale, but listen, this is easy. Easy, easy. Uh, that should... See, what should I go for? Fine, we'll go for that. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, we are more than strong enough to take out anything the finale throws at us. I think, like King Lant. We'll see about King Lant when we get to him. Uh, I've played, of course, sorcerers before, sorcerer builds, and I seem to remember him being pretty easy. But you never know. We also have the dragon. 
which I am going to show this time. And then that's about it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Demon Souls. I'm going to go play with my dog. Thank you guys. And that's not a euphemism uh, for sure. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Demon Souls spell only, uh, spell only Run. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out.